we're back with more Pokemon Y Wonderlock. And, yeah, Cascoon is evolving. So, <laughs> I didn't exactly show everything that happened. Why? Because routes tend to slow me down, and this one is particularly, you know, boring. So I decided to just kind of go through it without recording it, and then this happened, so I kind of needed to uh, show it. And I'll be just showing you the rest of the route. Good thing there's only like one trainer left, so... Although it is going to learn confusion. Uh, I think we're going to get rid of Harden. <laughs> But yes, we now have a dust tox. But, you know, we're almost to Santalin City and then we can finally, you know, get some get some items and well if I really need some, but I don't know if I need any. And uh get some get some potions or, you know, get rid of the get rid of the sad bunnelby. Okay, you're not even a trainer. <laughs> really? You're pointless. Um Okay, well, we're now in Santa Loon. Oh, he's gonna explain Pokemon Centers. No! <sighs> Why have I done this? Why have I done this? Get it? Shh! I don't care! Okay. You can also change your clothes, but that doesn't matter right now since we don't have a good. Well, actually, we, I think we do have a change of clothes, but they're not very good, so. I mean, I will be trying to get some, like, clothes later, so... But I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I don't care. Pikachu's terrible. <laughs> you need a stone just to evolve into something useful. So I'm gonna heal my things, because I could probably use that. And, yeah. We're gonna get rid of this Bunnelby. And get a new Pokemon, because we can go to Route 22 before the gym, and hopefully get something that is, like, super effective against bugs, because we really don't have anything. We have a bunch of, like, super high-leveled things. Um, I guess I don't really need to organize anything, we just need to put a Pokemon away. Yeah, whatever. There you go. Well, actually, no. It's... come on. Wait, what? There we go. It's in the dead box now. So that was our old, that was our old Bunnelby. It's dead, and now none of this stuff. Woohoo. Okay, so let's go check out the Pokemon Center after we talk to some more people, because I know there's this guy still. Okay, well, he doesn't help. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if he, like, does anything. He's just like, hey, check out the Pokemon Center. Or po Pokemart. Yeah, it's not very useful. Okay. I wish I had the skates, though. Okay, this guy is not the regular guy. Good, I'm glad. I'm pretty sure you didn't get. I'm pretty sure we didn't get anything weird in the forest. So, all right. So I'm going to grab some potions. I don't really have that many. I'm at least going to buy like uh, five, six. Yeah, let's just go with eight. I know it's kind of like a lot of money, but yeah, whatever. At this point, really, all you need is like potions and pokeballs and stuff. That's really all you can get. But I don't care. I could use the, just the tactics and go for it, but yeah. So we're in Santa Loon City, yay! Let's check out the clothing shop. <laughs> oh, I get it. Shh. I get it. I, I under... Oh. I, I, I understand how things work in the shop. So, I mean, I probably can't buy anything because I know this stuff is... Okay, well, apparently I can. Actually, see, I can do... I can go in here and look at the stuff. That's a really weird noise. <laughs> I don't know what it's coming from. Okay, so the logo cap. And I don't know. Honestly, I probably like this one the best, but I can't. This one the best, but I can't afford it. <laughs> Uh, okay, about this one down here. So, it's just the, the big... It's not very good. It's not like, yeah, alright, I think we're good. Yep, okay, nothing. 
that was that was that was time well spent. <laughs> um. Okay. I think nobody in here matters, so we'll just move out. Okay. Wow. You cannot see part of the screen. Man, my my ceiling lights look great, don't they? God, stupid. Okay. Okay. Why? Oh my goodness. This is really dumb. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know. I don't know what's all in these. Uh, I wish I could explore them easier. I mean, I can see everything, but uh, I, I, I understand. I don't really want to cancel evolutions that often. Well, I get it. It's probably because I wonder traded it. Shh, you're dumb. <sighs> you don't know me. It's literally like the only thing I've fought with. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't died, so, I mean, you'll you'll generally get, like, friendship up because, you know, your things won't die unless they do, but... <laughs> really? You walk away just about as I'm about to talk to you. You dingus. No, please, no. There's always this person who talks about the badges, but they literally... They, they don't serve a purpose. Like, that per person doesn't serve a purpose. But, come on, come back up here. Talk to me. So, um, so there's this cafe, which literally doesn't have a way in. It, what? It, uh, come on! Um, I mean, there's this, but this isn't a cafe. Ah, there's an itch on my leg. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, tend to grow quickly, but if you don't have enough BIM gym badges, which is kind of, which is one of the main, like, problems with, uh, Bunnelby, oh, I would, but I can't. <laughs> See, if there is a trade that you can do because you actually have that Pokemon, you can do it. And honestly, I would do it if my Bunnelby wasn't dead. Which, you know, would have been kind of nice right now, because Diggersby kind of is, like, not that good, but... In Farfetch would be super good for the first gym, so I don't know, because I wouldn't have to rely on one Wonder Trade. I could use that if I get a if. Well, I mean, I guess I can choose not to obey the like the rules of. I could choose to not obey the the rules, but then I yeah I don't know. Not not oh not obeying the rules like obeying the. Oh, I don't know whatever. Obeying the, the dupes clause, which I mean, I can choose not to obey it. It's just most of the time I'll be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna obey it." <laughs> so it's like, what's the point of of you know, what's the point of what's the point of having dupes of some of the stupid stuff? Um, so I don't, I don't know how useful that building is. Um, man, what is, what even is this building? <laughs> it's not the gym. Oh, trainer school. Sheesh. Okay. So let's just move along. I'm not going to talk to you right now, because I have bigger things to worry about. Like catching a new Pokemon, which I have to go through a battle first. Just lovely. Um, you know my Pokemon are super high level. It's, it's, I mean, I do, I shouldn't have to worry about the battle, but I'm worrying about catching a Pokemon. Because I don't want to, like, knock anything out, and then it's just going to be even more of a problem. Okay. Rising Star Louise. Send out a Psyduck. Oh, boy. Not a Psyduck. I'm going to get wrecked. <laughs> um, okay. So I do have Confusion, but I, I don't know if there's a point to doing it, because Tackle's still pretty powerful. I mean, I don't, I don't know what stat is higher. I should probably check. Because neither of them are stab, which is just like, wow, that's useful. Ooh, you weaken the power of fire? That's good, because I literally don't have fire. I don't even think this thing can learn fire moves. Whatever. So I think what I'm going to try to do is just catch a Pokemon in this route, and then, um, and then water trade it, and then we're going to end. And the next time we'll come back with a gym. Oh no. A lit Leo. I'll keep battling, and then I will switch. 
because Lilio, not really a desirable opponent right now. I guess we'll go with the Wismer. See how that works. Okay. <clears throat> I'm surprised he didn't use like a fire move against me. I would have assumed that he would have. Um, okay, well I guess I have to use pound, which is kind of not really what I want to do. Because pound isn't really going to be that strong. Okay, I mean, being, like, double his level is a, is going to help me out, but I mean, like, come on. I guess it's a her, because it's a female Lilio. Oh, the male ones are more valuable, because they look cooler, and they're more rare. But, you know. And Dust Tox level 11. That's not really good. Oh, <laughs> what was that? <coughs> okay. So, let us go into the route and catch a Pokemon! Alright, what is it? Um, am I going to have problems or am I going to have problems? It looks like I'm not going to because Dunsparce is like relatively like defensive, so I may be able to may be able to hit him a couple times. Not have him die, and then catch it. Alright, you can use Rage, which doesn't really help. <laughs> Um, I mean, I guess it does, but, like, yeah, I... Oh, no! Stop! No! No! Stop! None of that! None of that! I will have none of that with my dust ox. I will have none of that. Alright? Crap. This is not very good. Um... Uh, how much is that gonna do? Oh, uh, no! Can I catch it, like, right now? Like, without any problems. Please. Catch it easily. No, Dunsparce. No. Miss, please. Ow. Absol, take the hit. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Absol, take the hit. Uh, why? I know it's not going to kill him, but... Uh... <laughs> And neither is the next one, but like, I just need to catch it. <laughs> Don't want to have to use my Great Ball on it. Please, Dunsparce. Please. One, two, three. Yes. Oh, I did it. I did it. Okay, Dunsparce, let's level seven. Let's trade it out as soon as I can. Oh boy. It's learning things. Dust talks. Hey, Dunsparce, let's go. Uh, I don't know what to name this stupid thing. I don't know. Oh, uh, you can't see anything. I, I don't know what to name this stupid thing. I, I mean, I guess it... Uh, uh, I don't know what to name it. Uh, words. Mind. L. I. R. Lyra. <laughs> sure. Makes no sense, but it works. Okay, so I already connected to the internet, so we don't have to worry about, like, doing that, because that's, like, an extra save that we have to do. Okay, and then Dunsparce, trade. Alright, what do we got? What are we getting? I don't know. If it's Diggersby, it'll help. Or if it's a Bunnelby, it'll help. If it's a flying type, it'll help. Well, I hope. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I just literally use it throughout the entire gym, it'll help. As long as it's got a flying type move. Pidgey preferably, because Pidgey's really good at the beginning. Whereas others are like, they take a little bit to get good. I mean, I guess Taylor wasn't that bad either. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know anything about Pokemon birds. <laughs> Damien, please, help me. It's... <gasps> oh my god! Yes! I have been saved! Oh, you're so beautiful, Torchic! As long as it's not overleveled. But it shouldn't be, because it's a Torchic! Yo! Oh, that's amazing! Yes! Thank you, Damien! Thank you! Oh, it's a level 1 as well, so it's probably been bred! Oh, what is it? Oh, it's not really been bred, but... <laughs> it'll work! It'll work. It'll work.
work. It's not really been bred. <laughs> it's not been bred very good. It's got a terrible nature. But Damien, yes, I can do something now. Hallelujah. Use. In case we need to use six of them to get this thing up to level seven. Of course, I didn't find a rare candy at this point, because that would be stupid. <laughs> oh, I don't know when it learns moves, but I, I don't actually don't know. Is it level, like, seven or eight, or... Uh, I don't know. Uh, it learns focus energy. <laughs> that's not really that... That's not helpful. Well, and that looks like it has been an event, eventful episode. And we will now get out of here. <laughs> So that is the end of this. Next time we come back, we will hopefully be ready for the gym. I will probably have done a little bit of leveling with Torchic. And, yeah, maybe it'll maybe it'll go well. Maybe I won't lose it, because <laughs> that would kind of suck, and then we're going to have even more problems. But maybe it'll get a fire-type move. Cause I would assume at, like, level 10 we get a fire-type move. Anyways, we're going to stop before this thing crashes on me. Yeah!